This video is intended to be a follow-up to my first video on solving literal equations rearranging formulas. So for a more in-depth explanation on what literal equations are and how to solve them, you should watch my first video on this. So in this video, I'm just going to go over a few extra examples of solving literal equations. So let's go ahead and jump in with our first example. So we see our first example says x over y equals z, and they want us to solve for y. And I can see that y is the denominator of this fraction. In order to solve it, I need to undo this fraction. And remember that a fraction is a form of division. So x over y means x divided by y. And the way that we undo a fraction is by undoing the division. And so we undo division by multiplication. So I have to multiply both sides of this equation by the denominator, which is y. That looks like this. Over here, y divided by y, that cancels out, leaving me with x. And on the right side, I have z times y is zy or yz. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to leave it as zy. Because like that, you could very easily see what our final step is. And our final step, in order to get rid of this z so that we can isolate y, we see that z is multiplying y. And the way we undo multiplication is by division. So we have to divide both sides of this equation by z. And we get y equals x over z. And this is our solution. In our next example, we see the equation a minus 7 over b equals c. And we need to solve for b. So we see this is similar to the first example we did. Once again, in order to solve for b, I need to get b out of this fraction. And the way that we undo fractions is by multiplication because we're undoing the division. So I need to multiply both sides of this equation by the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by b. So again, b divided by b, that cancels out. This leaves me with an a minus 7 on the left. And c times b is cb. And then once again, to solve for b, I just need to get rid of that c there. And that c is multiplying b. So in order to undo multiplication by c, I have to divide by c. And so this cancels out over here. And I have my solution is b equals a minus 7 over C. All right, so let's take a look at two more examples here. This first example, H over 4 plus J equals K, and we want to solve for H. So now this is a two-step equation, so we need to follow that process. So step one in solving a two-step equation is undo addition or subtraction. So right now, I need to get rid of this plus J. The way I do that is by subtracting J from both sides. So j minus j cancels out. This leaves me with h over 4 on the left. And on the right, k minus j is just that, k minus j. Now our next step in order to isolate our h is to undo division by 4. So we need to multiply both sides of this equation by 4. And we need to recognize on the right side here that we're not just multiplying k by 4 or negative j by 4 we're multiplying k minus j by 4, so we have to put parentheses here. So on the left, 4 divided by 4, that cancels out. This leaves me with an h. And on the right, we can write h equals so 4 times k minus j. And if you want, you can go the extra step of distributing. So h equals 4 times k is 4k. And 4 times negative j is negative 4j. Now in this last example, we have 3 fourths times the sum of x plus 2 equals y. And we want to solve for x. Now we could do this by using the distributor property. But there is another way that is shorter. So we're going to look at that way. What I want to do is I want to get to this x. But right now, x plus 2 is locked inside of this parentheses. And what's got it locked there is the 3 fourths. Because after we add x plus 2, we have to multiply it by 3 fourths. So if we could undo this multiplication by 3 fourths, then we can break x plus 2 free from this parentheses. 
Now, how do we undo multiplication by a fraction? We flip and multiply. So we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 4 over 3. On the left side, 4 over 3 times 3 fourths cancels out. And this leaves me with x plus 2, which now has been broken free from the parentheses. And on the right, I have y over 1 times 4 over 3, which is 4y over 3. This leaves us with just one more step to isolate x, and that is to get rid of this plus 2. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of this equation. 2 minus 2, that cancels out, and I get x equals... And over here, 4y over 3 minus 2 is 4y over 3 minus 2. Notice that the 2 does not become part of the fraction because it is separate from that. You have the fraction minus 2. So this is our solution. All right, I hope that this has helped you to understand solving literal equations a little better.